In this video, I'll show you how to make a branching dialog system with choices and the dialog options you can choose from. I have this dialog manager set up here. I explained how it works in a previous video, you can find it here, and the script will be available in the description. As you can see, I can write dialog options here. And I can write a simple node so So this can be easily activated with a script. So if I press F, it activates the dialog manager. As you can see, it works and I can advance the dialog with space. So let's modify it so I can add choices to this dialog. First, to my canvas layer, I will add buttons for the options. You don't have to write a text for them, we will assign those with the script. Let's name it choice 1. Add the script to it. And here we need to export a variable which will be another dialog manager. I will name it DM and this will be a dialog manager. Then from this button we will connect the button up signal to itself. So if we press the button we will activate this dialog manager. And then we can duplicate this button. You can add two options, three or as many as you'd like. Then we will make this uh, invisible because we don't want to see it unless we activate it. In our dialog manager script and a new variable which will be which will be a boolean. Let's name it as choices. We also need a variable for the buttons itself. This will be an array containing buttons. Then we need a variable for the button text. This will be an array again. And this will contain strings. It will be basically the text which is displayed on top of these buttons. So for example, the button will say yes, and if you continue, then you go on that path. We can also customize the dialog to be bigger. And we need a last variable. These will be our dialog managers. Let's name these DMs. And this one will contain dialog managers. Okay, so now first when we activate our dialog, we want to make all buttons invisible. So for i in buttons, i dot visible will be equal to false. Then, when we deactivate the dialog box, we can check if it has choices after it. For I in range, then we will ask for the length of 
either new variables, let's use the buttons for this. We will make buttons I visible. Then we will change its text. This will be equal to our button text array. And we also have to connect the dialog boxes. So button sign dot what was the name of the variable? Button sign font DM. will be equal to our variable called dms dms i and now we can assign those here so let's write the dialog it will be a single line for now we will assign the two buttons, we will drag and drop these here. Then we will assign the text. One will be yes, and we will also have a no. And for the DMs we will add two new dialog managers. This will be our yes DM and this will be our no DM. For now we don't activate this. We will check it here. The first dialog manager will have choices. And let's try the dialog. For the buttons, let's assign the same buttons again. This will be just to make them invisible when we activate these dialog boxes. And now let's assign those dialog, ma dialog managers here in the DMs. So yes is index zero, so we will drag and drop the yes DM to index zero here and do the same here. So now if we run the game, do you want money? We will check yes or no. If we press yes, then the correct dialog option will be here. And if we press no, then, then we don't want money. And that's basically it. You can branch this however you would like. If you want even more options, you can do the same here. You can add choices to the SDM to ask further questions. And you can make the dialogue as long as you would like. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. Bye.